There it is. I need this CRSY light scanning arm. So I'm going to be adding that on. But let's get started with a rover. What do I have? I guess I'll just start. I don't even know if I have a probe body. Oh my gosh. I don't have command seats. Eh, this is going to be more fun than I thought. Okay. So let's see. What are we going to start with? I am pretty limited for my parts. Uh, let's start with an octo probe core. And to that, so I have some control, and to that Octo Pro Core, I'm going to, I would love to simply add this guy, but this guy I don't think has any hatches. So I think what I'm going to do, coming back here, is probably just add an inline cockpit to this. So here, let's clean this up a little bit, and maybe a little bit more, but let's put the uh, probe core into a service bay. So it will be compatible and we'll put this on here oh heck let's put another one on here we'll, we'll, we'll have two Kerbals and we're gonna drive around now I do have some rover wheels I only have the little ones like these I pretty sure I pretty sure ah there we go I'm pretty sure I can make this work what do I have for structural parts? Thank you very much there, NC Davis, for the kind donation. He says, I'm here, and I'm late, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm going to grab a couple of these fellas. Put the wheels on here. Yeah, rovers are much better once you have command seats. I am not in possession of command seats, so this is going to be, well, the best rover that I can build. That's not true. I'm sure people can build better ones than that. But the best rover I can build. Let's put it that way. So I'm going to slide that down like that. That's going to have to work. And we'll do the same thing over on the back here. Put on the snap. Again, get the wheels. Put them down towards the bottom like the other one. Try and make a match. Looks close. Yeah, people are, uh, I'm, I'm getting from uh, Padraig. Uh, he likes to take the time to make his builds look good, uh, which I don't blame you. And sometimes I'll do that. But sometimes in the live streams, I'm more like, I just want to get things done, if you know what I mean. Just uh, get something out there that's going to work. All right, uh, so we got ourselves some, <laughs> this is going to be an ugly thing. And we might as well science this thing up. So I do have, for instance, a... Um, Science Junior, we'll put a goo here on the back. Let's go single symmetry, put it like here-ish. Sure. Uh, what other science? I have the barometer. I mean, we're we, we'll probably end up in another biome. There might, or I, I, I've lost track in this game, what I have and have not done. That is really all my science, isn't it? Oh my gosh, that's kind of embarrassing. Okay. Actually, what I do have, if I go to cargo, I know I have the EVA experiment kits. We'll do some EVA. That's about it. Okay. <laughs> Back to parts. All right. And we'll definitely need to put on some blinky lights. That has become kind of a meme with this channel. We need to have blinky lights. So let's, let's stick the arm. I don't know if this will be its final location. It might be. Uh, you know what I should do? I get back into structural. If that's where this thing's going to hang out, let's put something at the front to make it look not quite as terrible. So this is the scanner arm. Can I deploy it from here? Preview range. So this little sphere here shows this is how close I have to be able to come to a baobab tree in order to scan it, and then I will scan it with that. And you can see there's a nice animation. And, and uh, this comes, for those people that do not know, this scanning arm is coming from the Breaking Ground DLC, which is a stock part, technically, because it is coming at us from Squad. This is going to be in orbit of Minmus once this mission is done. So uh, that's what she's going to be. I'm going to stick in some batteries because I need the batteries. So this is hopefully going to go pretty quick. And then afterwards, we'll do the orbit of Minmus, and I'm hoping that will go pretty quick, too. Because I've already orbited the moon, 
And the thing that you can often do is, uh, there, is, um, oh, that looks terrible. Oh, for so what happens when I talk and build at the same time? Uh, the thing that you, uh, something that you built for the moon is usually adequate to go to Mimmis and vice versa as well. So I'm hoping that just some minor mo modifications to my moon, I did it again, to my moon vehicle will uh, suffice to be able to go to Mimmis. But first we're going to go for a drive. All right, so I got like, what's that, 200, 400, 600 units of electric charge on here. We'll stick some solar panels on the roof. Electricity solar panels, shouldn't be that hard to find. Um, yeah, sure. Like so, and like so. Uh, hopefully these will be enough to drive this thing. Uh, let's put a couple more. Yeah, we can put more. Let's put some here and some back here. Just do some tweaking of the... keep these guys on a bit of an angle because we don't know where that sun's gonna be that works it's like a little there we go and we'll do the same thing over on this one bring them out here like that a little bit a little bit in towards each other works for me all right um basically i guess these wheels can go further back here i might as well do that so we'll grab this snap that on like i said this is going to be very very simple okay hopefully this will be adequate Hopefully this will be adequate. Okay, so we're going to take these rear ones. I'm going to disable the steering on them. And I'm thinking that's going to be about it. Let's explore. Oh, look at that. Get This is the kind of thing Restock does is these little extra textures. Not on everything. Oh, I can make those. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Uh, sure. Notice that this is an open. That's what it is. And heck, let's go. Oh yeah, lights, of course, lights. So we'll put on a couple of what is this thing? Oh, an indicator. Oh yeah, the indicator lights. I forgot about those. That's a mod I have installed. Not really looked too much into it yet. If I can rotate these the way I want. There we go. Success. Some 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 headlights here. I'll come back a little bit. And I think I can make these white as well. There we go. And we need brake lights at the back, of course. Because of course we do. So I'm just gonna use a couple of these dome lights here. gray or white well, white looks good and these of course should be red and actually what I should do if I go into oh I have no action groups haha -ha. I was going you know what I should do then so I think I have the cash for it let's just say this is the uh, scanner buggy I was gonna uh, attach those to the brake action group so that they come on when you brake can you do a toot for a world without ground packing and others one because I don't have the expansions? I have uh, my tutorial series don't have any of the expansions installed. So if you take a look at my tutorial series, which is ongoing, um, none of the expansions are talked about. Why four wheels instead of six? Oh, my car has 
four wheels. I could put six on there, but I don't think I need them. What am I doing now? I came out here to upgrade this. And we're going to upgrade this. There we go. And then that give me that should give me access to the brake action group. I could go with six. If, if I start to have traction issues, it's pretty easy to put two more wheels here at the back. Uh, where am I at? I was going to put on, oh yeah, action groups. Now I have action groups. I'm going to go to the light action group. We're going to take these guys out. So that's the dome lights. Out they come. And we're going to go to the brake action group. And we're going to toggle the lights with the brakes. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, oh, heck. Let's, let's, just, let's just launch this and see what happens. So, kerbals, kerbals. I am really low on kerbals. Uh, poor Jebediah is all by himself up in a space station. And one of the very common contracts that I have yet to see in this series is the rescuing kerbals from orbit. Be sure to pick up the, oh yeah, the prom kids for the stretch limo. So let's put on our lights. Now this is, a, as always, this is a test unless it works, in which case it's a mission. So this is really, I'm just going to see if this thing actually can, can drive. I'm going to keep an eye on electricity. It should be okay. Oh, this is good enough. We might have some fun on hills. We'll find out pretty soon here. Let's close that. There's nothing in there that we're really interested in. We're off. We're off. We're off. <laughs> Hello there, Scott. I'm glad you could make it. I'm a little worried about clearance. So we are hunting for baobab trees. Now you can see that there are a lot of extra textures going on. Those are coming from the parallax mod. So that's all the grass and flowers and everything you see and most of the trees that you see there in the background. And that does make it tricky when it comes to finding these stock things like the baobab trees. Uh, you might recall that when I was on the surface of the moon, I had to find some moonstone and I couldn't find it for the life of me. However, what we do have, I think our electricity is fine. Oh, I never took out the mono, oh well, whatever. Uh, what we should have, if a, if a good, I'm going to use this cheap because I think, I don't want to spend forever hunting for a baobab tree. I think that's pretty boring. But if you go into cheats on the console menu, and for those that don't know, Alt F12 gets you this console menu. There is somewhere oh now I've lost track of where it is okay uh, why am I I should have of course as always I should have looked at this before coming performance flight info is not there version info Delta B info I thought it was just under cheats there is a toggle for showing you Bump, 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 bump. It's not here. And now I've also, also forgot. Oh, it's under resources, silly. Is enable. Nope. Show. Nope, nope, nope. Breaking ground. I can do that. Here we go. Surface features. Breaking ground surface features. And enable surface feature scans, I guess. But I think it's this one. The finder. Or is it this? If I close it. Oh, don't tell me this isn't going to work. This didn't work for me before. All right. Let's, we should get great big, oh, I see one, I see one. See that little, see that little red? You might not see it on your screen, but I can see it on mine. More or less driving at it. Right there is a baobab tree. Boy, I am glad I turned that on because that would have taken me forever <laughs> to find that. Okay. So we're off for a drive. This thing is not exactly uh, speedy, to say the least. Uh, we're, I'm at full throttle, and I'm going at a blistering 9.8 meters per second. Yoich. So we're going to have to just enjoy the view as we go. Yeah. Oh, I'm seeing in the chat there, not cheats. It's in the Breaking Ground DLC. Yep. Yeah. And if I was smart, I would have checked that out. And I did. It's funny. Uh, when I was on the moon, those people that remember that people were telling me. And there was some sort of a bug that kept me from seeing the little red arrows. 
Um, and I, I, it has something to do with, I had to actually restart the game and then import everything into it, like basically from a new save, and then the bug went away. But I am hunting down that red arrow. I have no idea how far away it is. Now what I should do, give myself a little bit of time warping. This is always a little bit nerve wracking because rovers can be uh, a little bit fun sometimes. Yeah, she's uh, not pretty. <laughs> I forgot I didn't have command seats or anything. Oh, I got indicator. Here, let's stop. Let's stop for a second here. Kill the time warp. Stop. Noticing this is the indicator lights that I was talking about. Oh, my brake lights work. See the indicator light? See the green flashing? So that's telling me all of this science that there is stuff I can collect. I'm also getting flashing on here too. So that means I can do, can I do crew reports? I can. So I'm on Kerbin Shores. Why don't we do a bunch of science? Might as well. So it's telling me, oh, you got science to collect, science to collect. There we go. Material study from Kerbin Shores. Uh, we got mystery goo. So I don't know if people consider that to be a cheat or not. These little flashy green lights that are telling me that there's science to collect. Uh, it is a step far from stock. But somebody recommended that mod to me, so I went, sure, why not? We'll go for it. We can do an EVA report probably, that's right. Oh, I also have, did I not? I did. Oh, shoot, I'm doing this. <laughs> I just gave Valentina the... I want to have this go for Bob. Bob can go there. There we go the EVA science kit. Let go, Bob. He's in the tall, tall grass. So Bob can do, I did the EVA report. I can take a surface sample, but I can also perform an EVA experiment, which is the golf club experiment. Oh boy, he is in some thick rough here. That's for sure. He's actually sinking into the ground. All right, that's 7.5 science. Notice it's from Kerbin surface, so there's no more science to collect. So that's that's the end of the golf club experiment. Yep, and then we can restore this and collect a goo. Restore that. Take that data. Take that data. That's the end of that. Okay, and it's still flashing. Oh, whatever. take the data that's there. Now, hopefully Bob will have little trouble. I'm wondering if the easiest thing might be to climb up back here. <gasps> you are a star, Bob. Bob, you are amazing. Kerbals are great climbers. There we go. Oh, okay. You can do it that way if you want. In you go. Okay. Now I'm going to take the opportunity to do a quick save. And let's, let's uh, take the brakes off and we'll go. 22 miles per hour in the mud. So that's what the uh, 9.8 meters per second uh, translates to. Eh, I guess that's not so bad. <laughs> Looks slower than that. A little bit of fun sometimes is why Trav uses six wheels. Yeah, we're just getting her done though. So the flashing light has stopped, so it's clearly happy that I've collected the science that I have. Now we're, yeah, let's put on a, I'm just going to go to two times warp because I find more than two times with oh, rovers can get uh, a little too adventurous for my taste. And I'm using shopping cart wheels for sure. Yeah, these are clearly not, the, these are wheels that are really meant obviously for a smaller rover than this, so... I'm clearly not, uh, it kind of, I, I think I've complained about the order in which you unlock parts. I do kind of wish you got things like wheels for cars and parts for planes and things like that before you got into big rocket engines and oh my gosh, this thing can't climb this hill. And it's not even that steep a hill. So we're going to have to sort of switch back our way up here. Oh my gosh. Oh, 
More power! The electric charge is holding up, but maybe six wheels wouldn't have been a bad idea. Oh my goodness. What are the best realistic tech tree mods? I'm not so sure about realistic, but I am a big fan of Uncurbled Start. Um, I, I like the order and the progression that comes up in those mods. Much and, and, and another one is probe, um, Probes Before Crew. They're both very similar in that they give you probe parts before and plane parts before you start getting uh, crude space parts. And uh, there we go, we're off. And uh, I, I really like both of them, to be honest. Um, but I wanted to keep this guy stock, so I'm keeping with the stock tech tree. I did know this is no longer a test start. Once I got off the runway, this stopped being a test start. <laughs> yeah. Uncurbled starts the one I like the most as well. Okay, hopefully we are not too far. Oh, 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 I see it that way. Oh, I can see it now. It's over there. Just over that hill. It forces you to use a lot of sounding rockets, these other, these other, yes, they do. Your early science is about just putting a thermometer on a rocket and sending it up into the atmosphere and getting what you can. But I like it. But I can see why the game didn't go that route because I think they wanted people to get the Kerbal experience like right from the get-go. So they wanted to give you enough to be able to stick a booster under a capsule and fire that Kerbal up in the air right from the beginning, which I, which I get. Okay, I got to be a little careful cresting the cresting this hill here. There we go, and now we're coming downhill. This is a steep, steep downhill. By the way, all of these trees are, I'm pretty sure. I'm not going to test it at high speed, but I'm pretty sure they are physicsless. I'm pretty sure I'll just drive right through them if I here. We'll try. We'll experiment with this one. See, we can. Yeah, we'll break that illusion there right now. So you can't crash into trees. Oh, now I have that very clear view of that baobab tree. I have brakes full on, and we are out of control. Barely, barely <laughs> slowing down. There we go. We're doing better now. So I see the one baobab tree up ahead of us, right there. Um, I'm just doing a quick looky-loo around. Whoa, brakes, 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 we're going pretty fast. Like, holy cow. Like, if it wasn't for that waypoint, look, there's nothing else around. How the heck do they expect you? Oh, I, I'm getting more flashy lights back here. We'll get to the baobab tree. We'll do the scan and then we'll collect the rest of this and then we'll be done. Then we'll be done. Momentum scares me, Trav. Trav says use that momentum. Well, it sort of gets a little bit terrifying sometimes. Okay, we are getting a little bit of an uphill here. I can Alt F12 and turn that stuff off. Because I can clearly see the tree now. Like, even in the stock game, if you're playing this pure stock, my advice to find these trees and any other kind of these surface textures, oh my gosh, we're going slow, is to, uh, what was my head going to say, is uh, to turn off the terrain scatter, and then, uh, yikes. Turn off the terrain scatter, and then the only things on the surface are the things like these trees, and it makes them much, much easier to find. But I think with parallax installed, uh, that becomes really difficult. I'd love to go straight at the tree, but I'm literally having all the trouble in the world just getting up this hill. Maybe using that momentum would have been the best, better idea. Holy cannoli, this thing. I don't have my brakes on, though, still, do I? I'm not out of electricity. Oh, my electric charge is getting low. Shoot. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Ah! Oh, I see the issue. I am going up quite a hill here. Stop for a second. My electric charge isn't the bestest. Okay, um... Okay, I'm going to 
come this way. Brakes, 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 brakes. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay, this way. Uh, go, go, go. <laughs> I think I'm out of, I think I have to wait for my electric charge to come back. Yep. Would you be willing to do a tutorial series for robotic parts? Um, I'm not unwilling to do that. Sorry, I'm just charging up my batteries, but I noticed when I did that time warping, oh boy, that we sunk into the muck here a little bit. Boy, even at four, okay, I don't like, okay, I'm going to kill the time warp. Okay, we're back up. I should be able to time warp. There we go at better speeds. There we go. Okay, let's charge up the batteries. I'm not unwilling to do the robotic tutorial. My experience with the robotic parts is limited is really what the problem is. Okay, here, let's try this again. So I just charged up my batteries. This thing was ill -con Oh, turning off the lights would have been a good idea, says <laughs> Martin. Yep, turning off the lights would have been a good idea. So we're just going to have to kind of switch back our way up this pastoral little hill. Oh my gosh. You know what? We can't. We can do science along the way. Conduct a material study. Where are we? In grasslands probably? Yeah. Boy, as soon as these wheels have work to do, they uh, they are struggling. Crew report. Oh, they are got a crew report. So obviously I probably touched down here at some point. that okay oh my gosh we're so close to it <laughs> oh and he uh, laughed about the lights but then did I turn them off no okay we're starting to pick up some speed again the material study I don't think sucks up any power unless you do the transmitting which we're not going to do so I thought I might as well, oh, oh, I think we're leveling off. We're leveling off. I think I'm actually going to get close. <laughs> oh, no, that's a little too aggressive. We're on more of a hill than I think. Right, you can tell on the nab ball, I am going up a little bit. Okay, let's turn this way. Close in on this tree. Oh yes, if you have Kerbalism installed, then uh, science takes up a lot. Managing s electricity and Kerbalism with the science becomes much more of a thing. Okay, so we're coming around the side here, and then I'm going to come at it from the side. Er, uh, we're here. We're here. Okay, so got to remember how this works. Breaks on, breaks on, breaks on. A uh, little little nudge of the tree. Let's back up a little bit. <laughs> okay. Now we can put our lights back on. Okay, let's see. Do I just right click on this and say scan the tree? Sure looks like it. Should be close enough. The, po the arm sucks up power. Yeah, it does. The scanning's taking up power. But I think I'm okay. I hope I'm okay. I did, I got my science. Holy gosh, it's only six science for that? That means I gotta come back? I gotta transmit. Okay, let's 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 collect. Oh, I don't have an antenna. Transmit zero. Oh, it's zero to thirty-three percent. I thought I had to get at least thirty-three percent. It's zero to thirty-three percent. So I'm fine. I'm above zero. I'm less than thirty-three percent. Uh, let's get Bob out. Bob is gonna do himself an EVA report. Oh, that's unnecessary. Take a surface sample. A little bit of science there. That's it. Recover, and we should be done. Certainly not going to drive back. 